Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. Today we are going to make this wise owl. All right, let's get started. So now we're going to start with the left eye first. This is going to determine where the beak is going to be. So we're going to draw a nice big circle, or an oval, I should say. Nice big oval. Okay, and from that oval, this is where you're going to make your beak. So from here, I'm going to come up and do a line down like this, like a hook. Okay, and you can make it as, as pointed as you want. And down here, I'm going to come out and do kind of a hook like that. So his beak is kind of sideways. And then from here, you can make kind of a triangle and then another one around it to be the open part of his mouth. So this now determines where this other eye is going to be. So I'm going to come out here and make the other oval. You see how you don't have exactly the same thing. Okay, so we're going to make one inside as well. This is a wise owl. He's got nice big wide open eyes. And he's looking down, so we're going to do a nice big circle on both. And we're going to give him two sparkles, a small one here, a big one here, small and big. And then we're going to color this part in. So now that we've got the beak and the eyes, we're going to make the part around. So from here, we're going to come around we're going to leave a little space here and we're going to come up and over the head. We're going to do that both sides. All right. Now, I think what I'll do is the top part first. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to give him kind of like a winged owl, a horned owl. And from here, I'm going to come up and do some spikes for his hair, or his feathers, I guess I should say. And then I can give him the top of his head right there. All right, I'm gonna to move to a pencil for a second just to show you the shape that's gonna happen now. So as I come around here, I'm going to make a nice big circle. And it comes up to the beak like that. Okay, and then I can also do the other side as well. You can make them as chunky as you want. Okay, try to make it even as you can. <laughs> but now what I want to do, instead of doing that line, I'm going to come around and I'm going to give them some nice big feathers coming out. And maybe the last one I can kind of just come in like that. All right, so nice big feathers. Like that, okay. Underneath his beak, we're going to put a line here. And we're going to make a shape here. Again, back with my pencil, I'm going to make an oval shape. but I don't want it to be just straight. So I'm going to give it, make it feathery, adding some spiky lines. And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna to have to make sure I have a uh, point at the bottom like that. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is we're gonna come down here and do the bottom part of his body. I'm just gonna make like a circle, make sure you leave enough room for the feet. And now we're going to do his body. Again, with a pencil, I'm going to come out here. I'm gonna come around that shape I did at the bottom and give him his feet or his legs right there. It's like a little chicken. Okay, so both sides. All right, 
Now, the feathers though here, I'm actually going to come over here and I'm going to overlap my body like that. So same thing here, come a little farther and overlap my body. So this makes it look like the body's underneath the wings, All right? Now I can actually draw this part of the body, the legs. His wings are scalloped. If you can try to do it so that you have every second one, see how I'm doing there? You come down like this, and then at the bottom part you can do just lines to the point. And I'll do that on the other side as well. You can make these finer if you want, about smaller. Totally up to you. And lines to the bottom. Now his feet. The first one I'm going to do, the first line I'm going to do is put a line out like this and this. And then another smaller one, a shorter one. His back toe comes around. And then these ones, the front ones, are going to go down. And then you're going to make the toes. There's one, and there's two, and there's three, and you can match it up, up above there. One, two, and three. Try to make it go above there. You can add a few lines. And his little toes or his claws. My cat has come to visit. Hello, Savannah. All right. And also maybe make a few little feather lines here. Like that. He also needs his tail. So out from behind, you can kind of see his tail here. Just make some scallops under here. As many as it takes. All right. Then we have our drawing. Let's take a look at the colored one. So my colored one, I've actually done it in chalk pastel. It's like a, a really soft um, coloring stick and they can be a bit messy. So, um, but notice how I've kind of done darker here and darker here and just my colors here. You can do it in marker, pencil, crayon. I've chosen mine in chalk pastel. Uh, one thing with chalk pastel is when you are doing it, never ever swipe your paper because it will be getting messy. What I usually do is I put my color on first. I blend it with my finger. Okay. And then what I do is I either find a garbage can or something and I flip it up and then I go tap, 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 tap. Or you take it someplace where you would say outside or something and you can blow it off. Okay. Blow the, the chalk off. It just makes a nice soft. See, I can even, even after it's done here, I can still go back in and soften that up. All right. So have fun with this. You can layer colors on top as well. All right, so thank you for joining me, and have fun making this wise owl. Bye-bye.